the formidable robot. Strange videos. These are usually made with the goal to make the viewer uncomfortable. They are mostly made by beginner animators, or by big companies for some advertising campaign. But what happens when the intentions of a video like that are something beyond an obscure art project? A few months ago, I remember browsing Facebook as I usually do when I am bored. I watched whatever was on my homepage. Preparing desserts, cute animals, memes, typical Facebook homepage. As I scrolled, a video popped up. It was an animation of a short boy dancing and clapping to an Arabic song about a boy named Hamoud. I checked the comments, people were amused by the animation, and were leaving those weird face emojis. But for me, I felt some type of strange panic. When I was only 9, my mother had bought a DVD disc which contained various foreign nursery rhymes with music videos, it's like one of those shitty baby Einstein CDs if it included music videos, it couldn't have costed more than 5 bucks. I remember that some of the last songs were shit like Spongebob, which wasn't foreign for some reason. These were some of my only forms of entertainment, considering I had no internet in my house for a long time during this. But I remember distinctly running up to the DVD player and removing it right before the Spongebob song went to the next video, because that video had scared me horribly as a child. But seeing the Facebook video that day, I had finally faced my fears, and it was fucking stupid. It was the same animation of the kid dancing and singing about Hamoud, although it was in terrible quality. Actually, I don't really know if my fears had faded, I was just kind of paranoid considering I was scared by it for the longest time. But I'm an adult, so it didn't make me cry or any dumb shit like that. But it gave me some type of fear, no matter how hilarious or terrifying it was, still. But I noticed all of these videos I had seen were in poor quality, even though the video I saw earlier was in better quality at least, it wasn't perfect. So I set a goal. By the end of the upcoming holiday that is only tomorrow, I would have gotten the video in high quality. That's right, it's not like I have a social life and I do things during vacations other than visit my mother. To be fair, it's practically lost media, and it's good to archive the lost. I decided I would visit her to try and find the DVD. The next morning, I woke up and quickly got dressed and left to the bus station. One of the drawbacks of my mother's house is the lack of internet. I lived through this when I was younger by watching movies I had seen a million times already in the afternoon. At this point, you may be wondering why I'm telling you about my boring life. Well I have a reason, which is the key to the Hamoud investigation. When I got to my mother's house, I went into my old room. She has kept my room intact ever since I moved out, so that when I visit, I have a place to stay. On Saturday, I decided to look through my room's huge DVD shelf. As I was looking through, I saw something that caught my eye. I had found the DVD with children's videos on it. This is the same disc that the Hamoud video came from. At that moment, I was excited to see Hamoud in better quality. And I could upload it to YouTube and get easy views. I put the disc in my backpack and drove back home. When I got home, it was around 11 p.m. When I put the disc in my PC, each video was what I had seen as a child. But the disc was quite damaged. In some parts, the song or video would get stuck, it would show deterioration or pink screens, or unbearable beeps. The video of Spongebob singing started playing, and I was extremely excited for Hamoud, the next video on the disc. To my surprise, and disappointment, the video was the most corrupted out of all of the videos on the disc. Except for one final part the credits at the end. It was a link to what seemed to be a blog. I quickly took a screenshot. I thought this link would have more information about Hamoud, who he is, or why the animation was made. It was obvious because the link had the name Hamoud in it. When I entered the link, I noticed the blog was completely in Arabic. It seemed like it had journal entries or something like that. I started to investigate what the page contained. There wasn't much, but I realized that you could see the writer of the blogs. This blog was said to be written by none other than Hamoud Habibi. That didn't really give me any clue though. Going into the blogger profile, personal data was shown, including a name written in Arabic. 
I assume that at this point I would have to translate it with Google. I'm not that good with English, as I'm from Mexico, so I have to translate a few words. Using Google Translate, I found out the creator of this blog was Iris Amber, and her email, which I assume is inactive was also listed, but I do not want to make it public for reasons I will explain later. This was becoming more and more confusing. I thought this was simply a children's animated video. But no, this was something beyond that. It had a dark undertone, and I needed to figure what it was all about. I saved the page in my favorites, and began to translate each post written by Iris Amber. Sorry if some parts are wrong, I tried my best when I tried to translate them. Part 1, Loss. These last few months went by very well. It was about to happen. I was going to have my first son Hamoud, my dear Hamoud, was going to be born. But God is evil. God plays with his creations. He took my son, my dear Hamoud, away. Wake up. Please wake up Hamoud. Don't let God take you from my arms, wake up. I want you with me, my dear Hamoud. God won't take you from my arms Hamoud. I will fight for you to wake up again and for us to be together forever. Part 2, Wake Up Hamoud. My husband left me. Alone forever. If I don't have children, I won't be a good woman. I'm all alone, without my Hamoud. Without any company. I cannot trust God anymore. I can't go a minute without thinking about my dear Hamoud. I will wake him up, and no one is going to stop me. Hamoud will wake up. I will ask the King of Darkness to revive my son. This is what I will do, Hamoud will wake up. Part 3, Awakening. It's time. Hamoud will wake from his sleep. The King of Darkness will come out, and help me not to die of loneliness. Hamoud wake up, wake up my dear, wake up, wake up, wake up. That is what I say, the devil wants something in exchange for me having Hamoud by my side. I will do anything for Hamoud, I will make Hamoud wake up. Part 4, Hamoud forever. The day has arrived, the Hamoud boy will wake up, negotiating with Satan, we have arranged a good deal. I no longer have a reason to exist. I have no money and my home is about to be taken away. I dedicated myself to Hamoud, I dedicated everything to him because he is all I had, it was time. It was time for Hamoud to be reborn. It was beautiful night, with the brightness of the moon illuminating what would be my son, my dead Hamoud. The King of Darkness revived Hamoud under the condition that I go with him to the underworld, the perfect idea. I will be with Hamoud, my dear Hamoud. He finally woke up, my dear Hamoud is awake at last. Oh Hamoud, you are so beautiful, you look so alive. I remember every clap, every jump from you. It's time to leave son. We will live happily, we will always live together, my dear Hamoud. At this point, I had no idea what to think. It seemed like some kind of joke made in very bad taste, how would a woman even write from the underworld? The fact there was a blog telling a supposed story of a grieving mother didn't mean anything. My mind wanted me to believe it was just a joke, or a fantasy of the mother wanting her child back. I thought about investigating at that moment, but I was very tired and I thought I had seen everything. When I left the last post, I noticed a post more recent than the rest, posted on March 7, 2006. It was titled, Hamoud, and a video was attached. After watching the video, I had lost sleep that night. The video began with a shot showing the night sky with a full moon. The camera panned down and showed something on the floor, something very disgusting. A human fetus in a serious state of decomposition illuminated by moonlight, it had a small amount of hair on its head, bloodshot eyes, and a wrinkled green shirt. At that moment, I realized. This was Hamoud. At this moment, I was incredibly disgusted and had a sense of fear, very similar to the dancing animation. The mother tried to stand up the fetus, playing with it like a doll, and she began to sing a song. It was the same song that was in Hamoud's animation. Watching this video gave me lots of emotions that I could not understand, terror, anguish, loneliness, disgust, it was so much for me to see the demonized fetus be played with like a doll, to see the mother clap the hands together, making the limbs bleed slightly. Of all paranormal experiences I have experienced, this was undoubtedly been the most terrifying and disgusting. 
The video ended, and I had terrible chills, I wanted to cry, and I felt like vomiting. That night was terrible, I could barely sleep, and I got up in the middle of the night a few times and cried. I don't know if it was because of my attempt to relieve my childhood trauma or because Hamoud was nothing more than a fucking demonized decomposed fetus, which my mind couldn't process. There are innocent things that hide something very dark behind them, believe me. It's better to see them as a joke, something innocent, or something comical, rather than what they truly are. If you want to see what is behind your childhood trauma, keep in mind that you could damage your mental health this way.